Hello kids! Welcome to our first lesson in science. In this lesson, you will classify materials based on their ability to absorb water, float, sink, and undergo decay. Are you ready? Do you have your self-learning module, ISN and ball pen? Okay, let's begin! Lesson 1, Porous and Non-Porous Materials Wow! I am so impressed with your creativity in setting up your ISN. Today, we will proceed to your first adventure in your fourth grade science. But before that, I want to know if you still remember your lesson in grade 3 about matter. What are the state of matter? Yes, solid, liquid, gas. Class, can you give me an example of Solid, liquid, gas, yes, notebook, apple, ink, juice, vapor, smoke. Those are examples of matter. Everything around us is matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Can you repeat with me, class? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Okay class, now I want you to get a 5 peso coin. Observe the size, shape, color, texture, and sound. Circle the words that describe its properties. Now compare your answer. Do you get all the numbers right? Okay, very good. Let us now proceed to activity number one. Okay, in this lesson, you are expected to describe and classify materials based on their ability to absorb water and compare the characteristics of materials which do not absorb water and materials which absorb water. But before you can do that, we must perform the activity on page number 4 of your module. Okay, let's do the activity. These are the materials needed in this activity. Coins, plastic bags, cotton, tissue, sponge, and hand towel or face towel and of course a basin filled with water we are going to soak each of these material in this water for 20 seconds Okay, sponge and last this towel. Okay, let's lift it up one by one. First is this towel. Wow, it, it is quite heavier than before. When I squeeze it, water came out of it. It means class that this towel absorbs water. This is porous materials. Porous materials are materials having small holes that allow water or air to pass through it okay another is this one cotton cotton also absorbs water when i squeeze it water came out of it this is also porous materials how about this one okay this plastic part even if you squeeze it, no water will come out of it because this material is non-porous material. Water and air cannot pass through it. This is non-porous material. How about this one? This is tissue. Tissue absorbs water because tissue is a porous material. Yeah. 
Okay, when I squeezed, water came out of it. And this one, sponge. Wow, it is heavy. More water inside this sponge. When we squeeze it, water came out of it. It means that sponge also is a porous material. It absorbs water. Okay, the last is this coin. Coin is non-porous material. Even if we squeeze it, no water will come out of it. Okay. After performing your activity, you may now answer the observation table on page 4 of your module. Table number 1. Ability to absorb water. Did the water come out of the material when you squeeze it? Okay, put check if the material absorb water or X if does not. Do you get all the points right? Okay, now to further enhance our understanding, let's try to answer the guide questions. 1. In which material did the water come out when you squeeze them? 2. Are the materials heavier when wet? 3. What do you think made the materials absorb water? And 4 and 5, which materials did not absorb water, what are they made of? Nowadays, we are often asked to wash our hands to keep us safe from coronavirus. After washing our hands with soap and water, we dry it with towel, handkerchief, or tissue paper. These materials are porous materials and can absorb water from our hands. Also, the Department of Health advised us to use face mask and face shield to prevent us from being contaminated with the virus. This face shield is non-porous. Air and water cannot pass through it. Since coronavirus can be transmitted through droplets, this face shield or any non-porous materials can help us from being contaminated with the virus. We should remember, porous materials are materials having small holes that allow air and liquid to pass through. Non-porous materials are materials that does not allow air and water to pass through. For activity number two, these are the materials needed. Fail of water, Empty water bottle with cover, empty water bottle without cover, coin, leaf, candy wrapper, stone, sponge, cotton, key, stone, plastic spoon, metal spoon, and twig. These are what to do. Observe the physical characteristics of the materials. Drop the materials in the pail, half filled with water. Observe what happens to each materials for 10 minutes. Group the materials that float and the materials that sink. Write names of the materials in the fish balls.
as we have observed materials that float are empty water bottle with cover empty water bottle without cover leaf candy wrapper twig and sponge and materials that sunk are coins stone key metal spoon plastic spoon and cotton okay to deepen our understanding about the lesson let's try to answer the guide questions what happened to the materials when you drop them in water two what materials floated what do they have in common three what material sank what do they have in common number four what materials are partly submerged in water and five why did the sponge an empty plastic bottle without cover float at first then slowly sink after some times For activity 3, dig in. Pick the materials inside the box that decay. These are used by farmer in making organic fertilizer to enrich the soil for planting. Write your answer on the blank provided. Compost is usually made by gathering decaying materials in a pile or bin and letting them decompose as a result of the action of microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. Okay, let us now check your understanding. For letter A, look at the pictures. What materials do you need in the given situations? Choose your answer in the box. Write the letter of your answer. For letter B, write down the proper level for each trash bin in the boxes. For your assignment, list down at least 5 porous and 5 non-porous materials. You can also draw materials that float and sink. This should be reflected on the left side or student side of your ISN. On this page, you may include diagrams, cartoons, drawings, poems, foldables. Let your creativity go wild. If this page is not enough for you, you can glue another sheet of paper to extend it. But you should not use another page. For teacher's input, copy or cut, remember on pages 7 and 8 of your module. Underline the crucial words such as porous, non-porous, sink, float, biodegradable, and non-biodegradable. After doing all the activities, I know you are now ready to answer the post-test. Enjoy learning!